Also, these are the bravest souls I know. I'm a fucking coward. Please be advised. The following presentation is not intended for minors. Okay, oh, <laughs> where? You're at the cove? Oh, we're not going back to the cove. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, uh, hey man. You wanna go do some gardening? We got, we're gonna have to do with the weird at some point. And it's giving us the Vestal Salacious Diary, too. I'm legitimately thinking about it. Increases. Oh, okay, you know what? Yeah, just 25% extra healing. It's really good. Oh, Yo, fuck that, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, let's go, dude. Dude, it's literally uh, the smut fanfic with vampires. Yeah. Like, it fits perfectly. Alright, so, this is the Courtyard. The Courtyard is a DLC, so if you're, you know, just buying the base game, you won't have this. But, uh, yeah, the Courtyard is all about, uh, just one really, really long dungeon that you have to do, like, multiple trips to finish. Like, the first one isn't that bad, you can do easy, but, like, the rest... Like, some people could do it in one, but most of the time, you are going to need, like, three, maybe four trips. Do we still get the trinkets? You still uh, get, e like, everything you collect, you get to keep when you leave. Man, this is such a good game. It's so fun. Fuck. This is I such a know. great game. Yeah, the original Darkest Dungeon is so good. Okay, we're bringing some torches. We don't need a lot because, like, this doesn't actually have, like, the light mechanic in the courtyard. The courtyard and then why are you bringing- oh, because you use Be them to, like, burn some shit, right? Yeah, now. yeah, things do need burning. There are, like, nests of, uh, like- yeah, there are, like, blood-sucking mosquito nests that you can burn for, like, massive stress heals. Like, putting on a mosquito screen on my window is, like, literally life-changing here, man. Mm. Like, it's almost spring here, so the mosquitoes are gonna be coming out soon, and, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. Alright, so how the courtyard map works is it's constantly, like, uh, revealed as you move along. So you have no idea where anything is. Uh, it right, your stun resistance is 150%. Okay, so how the resistances work, because a lot of people don't understand this. Uh, and this is why, like, a lot of people kind of bounce off Darkest Dungeon. Uh, how this works, uh, see Dazzling Light. It says it has a 100% base chance to stun. Uh, if we take that to his 150% base resistance, that means, like, they kind of cancel out. So he'll have, you'll still have 50% uh, stun chance left over. So he'll... Like, you need to have over 150% chance to stun to be able to attempt to stun this guy. See, it's based... Like, it, it has everything I mean, in percentages, but really, like, it's it should just be addition. It's one of those things where you have to look at the numbers and think less about it. So yeah, really. yeah. A powerful blow. Good crit. One HP! I get to press the button! Are you kidding oh, me? You, mm. oh, what button? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a soundboard. Okay, the difference between my soundboard and your soundboard is yours works by going through the microphone using that like a uh, like a stereo. So like if you're in a call or something, like people can actually hear it. Mine doesn't work like that because I have like a uh, I have a mixer. So if I uh, did that, it would go through the mixer first and it would be like mumbled. So I it goes through the stereo. So, people on stream heard it, but I don't think you heard it outside of, no, you know, no, having I, a, yeah. I, I, I turned on the stream yeah. sound just in time to catch some of that. <laughs> yeah. Look at Mr. Big Professional Streamer here with all his gimmicks and, like, cool shit. <laughs> don't you dare. First hit First. every time. <sighs> um, wait. Welcome the to the Crimson <laughs> Curse. One of our heroes oh has the Crimson God. Curse. The curse is not like I... any other disease. It can't be cured normally in the sanitarium. The only way to keep it at bay is with the blood. There may be other ways to cure it. Basically, Bruno I just got turned that. into a vampire. Man. And it sucks. It sucks so much. No, I actually do remember that, oh man. All right, so starting I... off with your debuffs, negative 5% stun resistance, 
Blight resistance, bleed resistance, that's not that bad. Negative 10% max HP, that sucks. Extra speed though. But as we go along, that will get worse the more he craves blood. <laughs> I walked in on what? Hey, sis. <laughs> hey, Amy. <laughs> uh, yeah, um. I Bruno's don't a like vampire. mosquitoes, but mosquitoes do like me, and I guess they're, they're just wanted me to turn into one of them. Oh, it's man. more accurate. So, sounds like what happens when I go to my backyard eaten alive. Yep, yep, yeah. every time. Yeah. Literally every time. Like it never happened. Alex, why are you so good at critting? Bro, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Alex is just like, I, I hate everything here. Hey, if anything, <laughs> if anything, that's accurate. Alex is good at what he does. Bruno as a vampire fan art went, how do you make a vampire coconut? Good question. I'll <laughs> also, look, man, I'm I'm very tropical. I'm like I'm I'm brown. I'm tan. Like in the West, I think it would be considered black. I'm not sure I fit the bill exactly. It would be like the the opposite of um, those pictures, those memes with the whole family being like all bright and sunny, and then there is the one goth kid in like full gear <laughs> makeup. Like the opposite. Uh, so my Chris so Blood my family. My favorite black and white movie. <laughs> You're. Jake, you're you're not goth. You don't. No, have I'm it. not. I'm not. But my brother was emo. Did have the full kit, Wonkery? He had the full kit. He even got like uh, his yeah. earlobe stretched. Ah, right, that's one of those burns. So that's like a quest thing. We need to burn three of these. Wait, activate three pronging hives. Ooh, a vase. Are... Let's smash it. I love that that's the interaction with that. You just smash it with a shovel. There's treasure I mean, inside. I, I mean, I thought that the idea was that you dug into it with the shovel, but... No, there's literally a smashing sound when you interact with that. But yeah, like, we, we touched on this before, but the idea of having, like, vampires in Darkest Dungeon be, like, mosquito people is goddamn genius. Yeah, no, like, that is extremely fitting, it's so creative, I love it. I wish that I wasn't such a coward about this game, but, like, it's so good. Like, God, Red Hook Studios, like, they just hit it out of the park with this one. Mm. Like, immediate cult classic. <laughs> Luckily, I mean, like, they didn't give you yellow fever. God, man, imagine a mosquito so huge, you can actually just, like, fucking shoot it with pistol. I mean, you live in Australia, you tell yeah, me. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, we have, like, spiders that are, like, big enough that you can shoot with the pistols. And yeah, some with look, wings, because fuck you! you <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't no way. What the fuck you mean with wings? Spiders can't have wings. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, oh, man. No, nah. Oh, no, no, no. I do not want Alex in the front. No. Oh, these are the bravest souls I know. I'm a Fucking coward! <laughs> That's how you survive! Exactly! There was that time that you just got like invaded by a big ass moth. Oh yeah, I got stream. in the middle of like well yeah, it was like the last stream of the uh like the main story of the uh mono rock type run in uh Scarlet, wasn't it? I remember uh, it was like one of the Pokemon streams. I remember that. Yeah. It has been a while. Fun fact, that is actually, like, David, the other Brazilian that sometimes he shows up to have a chat. That just, like, stuck to his mind every time he just remembers <laughs> you as the dude that, like, has to fight off wildlife. It was that stream, because David showed up because he was part of, uh, Eris's, uh, stream. I still can't believe you know, like, a well-known Brazilian VTuber. That's crazy I to me. I still can't believe she is a well-known Brazilian VTuber. Like, I, I found that out way after the fact. So like, wait, what? When did this happen? Because, like, like, I don't know her. the fuck you mean you are famous? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, so what? Dude, you are, like, no life in MMOs, like, only a little while back. What happened? <laughs> this guy gets around for sure. He's got all sorts of secrets. I'm an open book. All right, I think this way is the boss. So we should do I mean, that we, as soon as possible. I mean, we don't have to fight the boss. We have to. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, no, right, right. The boss would be protecting the last hive. No, yeah, I guess not. Yeah, we, yeah. Oh, Ooh. Alex is vampire now too. Fucking great. 
Awesome! So this version is a dungeon crawl. Wait, Amy, did you never play Darkest Dungeon? Did you never play the original Darkest Dungeon? Oh god, it's so good. Yeah, it's essentially like a more classic dungeon crawler. It doesn't have the wagon sections here. You go mm. into a dungeon and you crawl. Like there's some slight roguelike uh, elements to it, but it's primarily a dungeon crawler. But yeah, like I generally think that this is a, a it's a better game. Like it's just more fun. It's more engaging. It's just, yeah. it's just great. And so see when how many runs we did this uh, this stream in comparison to Darkest Dungeon Two last week. We did like what <laughs> five, six today. While like the last yeah last week we did one and a half. It's hard to play these kinds myself because of my gore sensitive tummy. Oh yeah, no, uh, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm also kind of a coward here. Like, I don't have a problem with the gore itself. Although, as you can tell, it's like most things are like you just get flashes of the attacks and such. But for me, it's just the ambience gets me because this is a horror game. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it, like, if you're like squeamish to gore stuff, I don't think you would enjoy, like, the end of this game. Because it's very, like, cosmic body horror. Like, holes made of flesh and stuff like that, so, yeah. Just discovered channel and I'm loving your stream vibes. Oh, hey, thanks, dude. We have been doing this for a while, but we're trying to expand a bit. It's mm. less about streaming and more about the video assets, but we just have fun here. Yeah, what yeah. What inspired you to start what inspired you to start streaming? What's your favorite part about it? Oh, uh, I... well, for Switchaboo, mm. it's like it was never the main thing here, but we are a like game review site. I was like, you know what? We do have an experienced streamer here. Why don't we actually dip our toes into that? <laughs> and it just kind of started. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jake. All now, right. This dude so, here. <laughs> so I've been a content creator for going on like nearly 13 years now. God damn, I am so old. Uh, oh, I just got rid of my... I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just got rid of my, uh, uh shovels. But, uh, yeah, what, or yeah, what originally got me started, uh... I started off as a Let's Player back in the day. That never really took off, because that's when, you know, at the same time, that's when, like, Gang Grumps and, like, PewDiePie and, like, all those big names started. Um... Oh, hey, here's the boss, the crocodile. <laughs> but, um, I'm sorry, the croco what? Uh, it, it's the crocodilian, but I like to call him the Wait, crocodile. Hold, because, like, a lot on. of people from the south uh, pronounce crocodile oh, as crocodile. Oh, that's a bot. That's a bot. Fuck. Oh, it's a bot. Son of a bitch. You got me like, rambling they're... about my life for no reason, you son of a bitch. <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody talking about WhatsApp outside of Brazil. I know better than that. <laughs> Plus me not actually looking at the screen. Yeah, like, see, here's the thing. A lot a lot of the time, people just kind of tune into streams as background noise, and mm. I I wasn't aware of that until Jake told me that is the usual thing. And I was like, mm. oh, wait, that actually makes sense. Oh, wait, I see. Yeah, this boss so is it has not bug fun. Legs. Yeah, it's a crocodile that is also infected with a taint, so it is starting to to become mosquito-like. This is not going good. Because I specifically want him to hit me and he's hitting everyone other than me. What is the gimmick here? Like, it's hiding among okay, the- Okay, yeah, the reeds, I can't hit at all. I can only hit him. This is his other oh. main thing. He submerges in the water, heals himself, and then does an attack called Apex Predator which has a random chance to hit as many people as possible. And it does a stupid amount of bleed damage. Do these cattails have health bars? Only for show. Yeah, this only for only show. Only wants they have... to give you just a Yeah, they have... Oh they my have, god! Yeah. yeah, Apex Predator sucks. But uh, yeah, the reeds have 200 dodge. We cannot physically hit them at all. Well, technically... Everything has a five, like a hidden five percent chance to hit, but they have a hundred HP. Even if we hit, like that five percent is, we're not gonna kill it. Man, it's crazy how these cattails are more resistant than like most bosses in the game. Stop pulling my back row to the front. This is another annoying thing. Is like he can't like submerge and um, 
like do that big attack if he's in the front but if he's in the front he will try to pull the back row to the front we, I mean, if that's the case, then actually maybe, yeah, just do Holy Lance and then he will pull you forward and then, then he's going to get hit with the riposte. Hey, thank you. All right. 80% blight resistance. Oh, no. Just get lucky. Yeah, trying. Can this thing also turn people into vampires? No. Ooh, that's a good crit. Ooh, crit for 31. Oh my lord. Oh, that's That is why million. That is why you let the high women vape. <laughs> uh, and I'm out of bandages. Yay. Hey, you got a crit too. Crit for 18. Hey, nice. Ooh, okay. Oh, he's in the puddle. Yeah, very cute. Until, yeah. <laughs> until that's mad. Yeah, until this happens. Oh, he dodged my repost, you bitch! Hey, right, me and Alex are both on death's door. My guy, you are not doing too hot right now. No, no, I'm not. Alex, do not die to that bleed. Oh, come on. Paranoid. Yeah, this boss is not fun. Holy shit. It's like, I get it, it's because this is a single creature, right? But goddamn! Oh my god, this is so tense. Yeah, no, this game, mm. is, it's all about this. Yeah, that's what, this, that's what Darkest Dungeon is all about. It's all about trying to make the best out of the worst situation ever. Alex tried to kill me. <laughs> god damn it! Damn, the Australian, the Australian heat, the Australian madness just getting to everyone here. Oh, don't dodge. Come on. You're nearly dead. I... Oh, we got a blight. We actually rolled the 20% blight chance. Winnable? Question mark? Ooh. This could kill Alex here. He survives the bleed, but he's at front, so he can't heal uh, himself. His paranoia it, it, okay. pushed... His paranoia pushed him back. He can heal again. Let's go. Oh, Jake, say it with me. Never punished. Never, Never punished. punished. Never oh, punished. Come on. Don't dodge. Come on. High roll or crit. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh -oh. Please, Alex, do not die. How has Alex not died? How have you not died yet, bro? Local nun, too angry to die. Why did you have to submerge? You were so close. Ah, oh, you had to heal yourself, you son of a bitch. Can oh we get the blight God. again? No, another dodge. Cool. Alright, keep Alex alive, Bruno. Keep Alex alive. I'm trying. Wicked Slice. You fucking Why son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Are you fucking Bro, kidding me? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. And we lost Alex, son of a bitch. Oh, if no, you did. If you did one more point of damage. Oh, lordy lord. Screw this. Point blank shot. Die. Shoot it. That's for Shoot Alex, it. you son of a bitch. Oh, hey, we have the man at arms trinket from that. Shame we don't have a man at arms. Uh, you, know the cra you know the craziest part? We're not done. Like the, No, we're the, not done. The, the Thronging Hive wasn't even there. That's all, all right. for the Fallen. Oh. Well... That sucks, but we still have the rest of the dungeon to go. At least we got the hard part out the way. This is a real I hate it here moment. Mm. Uh, two bleed for two rounds. You have four HP. Oh no. Uh, fine. You have to. Yeah, you have more food. We are going to go okay. hungry. It's going to suck, but we need it. It's All right. Where the hell are, are we going? Oh, of course the hunger sets in now. Yeah. Okay, bro. Yeah, bro, we have to leave. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. We, we gotta get the fuck <laughs> out of here. We have to live. Damn it. Reassemble. We tried. We tried. But yeah, we the Crimson the Court. Cock. The Crimson Court DLC is extremely difficult. 
Like, that's just the, like, the bar to entry to get in. You haven't seen what the other bosses can do. Yeah, we, we like, you gotta hit the gym before doing that one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm oh, a shocker Lord. now? What the hell is that? Why I do I do keep getting all the... Why the hell do they keep getting all the worst traits? Negative 10% stun resist, that's what that is. Oh, and the best part, since we went into the Crimson Court, Bloodsuckers can just randomly show up in any dungeon. Yay! <laughs> I mean, th this was great. This was extremely engaging. We all we all fucking, like, almost died. <laughs> but it was a great engagement. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like even with all of like my experience and knowledge, you can still get completely fucked over. <laughs>